The year 2020 had one unpredictable turn after another, at least from my perspective, but it seems like The Simpsons have managed to make a few predictions which actually ended up coming true. Did this famous cartoon family predict the COVID-19 pandemic? We'll let you know which scenarios they got right and which ones they missed, despite what you might have seen online. In the year 1999, American rock band Smash Mouth released their hit All Star, which contains the lyrics, My world's on fire, how about yours? Which pretty much sums up the year 2020, but unlike Smash Mouth, this is not the way I like it. Anyway, speaking of the world being on fire, protesters took to the streets across the United States following the tragic loss of George Floyd. Protests broke out all across Minneapolis, which culminated with the police station being set on fire. Naturally, tons of images of the protests and this incident in particular have been circulating on social media and occasionally accompanied by a screenshot of a specific Simpsons episode. The episode in question is Hello Gutter, Hello Fatter, which tells the story of Homer bowling a perfect game and becoming a local celebrity only to learn that fame isn't necessarily a good thing. But before Homer found himself in that wacky scenario, he was predictably late to work by an impressive 26 hours. In his mad dash to the nuclear power plant, he was pulled over by Chief Wiggum, and when asked where's the fire, he simply pointed to the police station engulfed in flames. So maybe it's not a perfect prediction of the future, but it's one that came to a lot of fans' minds in light of recent events. Another screenshot that you've probably seen involves the episode Marge in Chains, since some fans are saying it predicted the COVID-19 pandemic, but let's take a closer look because while it does have some similarities to real world events, it isn't a perfect prediction. And here at Screen Rant, we strive for perfection in the episode. The hot new item is called a juice loosener and they're shipped to Springfield from Osaka, Japan. Unfortunately, a new flu strain is transported along with the products and is unleashed upon an unsuspecting populace. There's even an image which shows Kent Brockman reporting on the coronavirus, but that image has been altered because this isn't a case of COVID-19 at all. In fact, that picture isn't even from the same episode. It's from The Fool Monty. In Margin Chains, the disease is called the Osaka flu, and it originated in Japan, not China. So while there are certain similarities to the real world pandemic, it isn't 100% accurate when it comes to what really happened. There are some Simpsons fans who don't think it's a coincidence that this fictional show had foreshadowed actual events so many times. But getting the President of the United States right? Well, that's something else. In the episode Bart to the Future, Bart gets a glimpse of what's to come. And unfortunately, he's an out of work, broke musician rooming with Ralph Wiggum. Lisa, meanwhile, is the president and says that her predecessor was none other than Donald Trump, who assumed office on January 20th, 2017. It might be tempting to credit this to a coincidence, but that's not what the writers say. This episode aired back on March 19th, 2000. And according to writer Dan Greeny, he thought that a celebrity like Trump becoming president was something that could actually happen. At the time, Dan said he viewed Trump as a kind of lovable, over-the-top character, so he made a natural pick for a former president in this episode. Speaking of celebrities, it's hard to find one more universally loved than Tom Hanks, which is why it was huge news when he and his wife Rita Wilson tested positive for coronavirus. Hanks revealed that he had contracted the virus while in Australia and were taking the quarantine process very seriously. But this is also another one where some fans believe it was foreshadowed by The Simpsons. Devoted fans of the franchise will recall that a yellow version of Tom Hanks appeared in The Simpsons movie, which was released in 2007. Hanks appears in a promotion for a new Grand Canyon and says that the US government has lost its credibility so it's borrowing some of mine. Hanks then goes on to say that if you see me in person, please leave me be. That's good advice in general, but it was doubly important when Hanks was diagnosed with coronavirus. Have I mentioned that 2020 hasn't exactly been the best year ever? Because now we have extra dangerous hornets flying around. These new species of Asian giant hornets appeared in the Pacific Northwest. And of course, they're an invasive species which could damage local wildlife, not to mention humans who are unlucky enough to come across them. Oddly enough, this is another event which was supposedly predicted in the episode Margin Chains, which gave us the Osaka flu COVID-19 connection I talked about earlier. 
Because the citizens of Springfield get sick, they demand a cure from Dr. Hibbert, who has none to give. When they ransack a truck in search of some placebos, they end up letting loose a swarm of dangerous bees. It's safe to say that this development in The Simpsons and in the real world really stings. Huh? You like that one? Yeah, you do. There's a ton of times that The Simpsons actually got pretty close to predicting real world events, but some fans just try to force connections when they're not there. You might have seen this image online, which shows Mr. Burns standing in front of the Notre Dame Cathedral of Springfield, of course, when it's on fire. It actually looks like a version of the Disaster Girl meme, and many people who saw this assumed it was from an episode which predicted the Notre Dame du Paris fire of 2019. This devastating blaze did serious damage that could take up to two decades to fix completely. And while this was a tragic event, it's not one The Simpsons predicted. See, the Notre Dame Cathedral of Springfield does make an appearance in the episode Husbands and Knives when Marge starts a business and Homer decides to enhance his appearance through surgery to maintain her interest. Some shenanigans later, Marge and Homer are chased by an angry mob and seek refuge in the cathedral, which is decidedly not on fire. Not only that, but Mr. Burns isn't standing in the foreground at all. Fans of Game of Thrones love the show's many twists and turns, and they can all agree that the final season was the most unpredictable of all. Now, whether or not that was a good thing or not, we'll let you decide. But it's safe to say that quite a few fans had an issue with the fact that Daenerys Targaryen lost her mind during the conquest of King's Landing and lit up the city with her dragon, despite the fact that it had already surrendered. This is similar to what happened in the Simpsons episode, The Surfsons. It was meant to be a parody of fantasy franchises, including Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, and Dungeons and dragons. During the episode, the townsfolk get their problems solved and everything is fine, until a dragon burns the village. Lady Gaga is a star who is constantly reinventing herself, so making predictions about her actions is particularly difficult. Who could have foreseen her wearing her now infamous meat dress to the VMAs? Gaga at the time said, I want to give my fans everything that they deserve, and they do not deserve sweatpants and cigarettes. Lady Gaga starred as herself in the episode Lisa Goes Gaga, and called being a part of The Simpsons one of the coolest things she's ever done. And as you'll see soon, she's done some amazingly awesome things. She performed at the Super Bowl halftime show in 2017 and performed a rousing medley of her hit songs. Of course, her show was over the top, and so was she, quite literally. Gaga was suspended over the stadium before being lowered down to the stage, which is similar to her performance on The Simpsons. But since she worked on the episode, is this really a case of The Simpsons predicting the future? Or did Lady Gaga get her inspiration from her small screen counterpart? In Elementary School Musical, Lisa and her friends watch the news to see who will bring home a Nobel Peace Prize. In preparation for this momentous 4 a.m. television event, the kids had to make bets on who they thought would win, with Martin guessing correctly that economist Jagdish Bhagwati would win the Nobel Prize in that category. But check out the sheet on which the kids placed their bets and you'll see that Milhouse placed his bet in that category on Bang Holstrom. This episode aired on September 26, 2010, and in 2016, Bang Holstrom did win a Nobel Memorial Prize in Economic Sciences just as The Simpsons predicted. Everything's coming up, Millhouse! Out of all the times The Simpsons has foreshadowed actual events, this one might have the eeriest timing. Let's look at the episode Monty Burns Fleeing Circus, which starts out with Springfield burning to the ground after the lard lad disappears and is replaced with a new statue that amplifies the sun's rays. Mr. Burns promises to rebuild the town, but on the condition that he gets to perform a variety show during the Super Bowl. It's not quite Lady Gaga, but hey, they really needed someone to have the town rebuilt. But the most interesting part of this episode isn't Springfield burning down or Mr. Burns coming in to save it. It happens during a conversation between Homer and Marge, when Homer fills a squirt toy with a combination of lemonade and iced tea and says he's going to give Lenny an Arnold Palmer. Of course, Arnold Palmer is both a famous golfer and someone who branded his name to describe this delicious drink concoction. The joke should have been a minor moment, and it would have been, if Palmer hadn't passed away just a few hours before the episode aired. Writer and producer Al Jean apologized for the situation and the fact that he was too late to cut the joke from the episode. Although the joke was funny, the timing was downright unsettling. 
Do you think the Simpsons writers have a knack for predicting the future? Or are some coincidences inevitable considering how long the show's been going on for? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section, and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up to stay in touch with us here at Screen Rant. We'll see you again next time.